Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are playing In a Garden from the Wagon Wheels book. Now In a Garden has got a finger pattern which has wide gaps between the first and second fingers and the third finger comes right by the side of your second finger. So that is the finger pattern that we're going to be playing throughout this piece. And when we play the A major scale we can practice that finger pattern here. Now when I play a scale I play every note twice with long bows uh, and then we're going to start on an open A string and we're going to finish three fingers on the E string and then we're going to go down the scale again. So let's practice the A scale first to warm up. Here we go. One, two. the fourth finger which is a space away from my third finger so let's start on the pinky now we'll go down the scale and And the A arpeggio we're going to play next and I'm going to play every note once with long bows and then we play the whole arpeggio over twice. So check over your finger line, your thumb and your tennis ball before we start and here we go. And of the notes of the A arpeggio are of course A, C sharp, E and A. Now we're ready and warmed up and we're going to play in a garden. I'll play it for you once and then you can join in. Okay here we go. that I use the crotchet notes at the beginning of the piece at the lower half of the bow. So I'm starting right at the heel and I'm going on. So all of those notes are at the lower half of the bow until I get to the long note in the middle of the first line to the minim. I use the whole bow for that minim and that brings me to the point of the bow. Now the notes that follow the crotchets again now arrive at the upper half of the bow. And 
this semi-breathe which follows next is four counts long so I'm going super slowly with my bow and I'm using the whole bow two three four now I've arrived at the lower half of the bow again to the upper half again so I'm finishing right at the point of the bow and I'm ready to play the long semi breathe A at the end of this piece one So in this piece it's very important that you think on which part of the bow you're playing your note. So let's practice that. We're going a slight little bit slower than how I've played it before. So we can really focus on where on the bow, upper half or lower half, we are playing. So we're starting right at the heel of the bow. So let's get ready. And... If you've done it correctly, you should finish right at the heel of the bow, ready to play the long minute, and... Now we're going to try and stay at the upper half of the bow with our crotchets that follow. arrived at the heel of the bow if you've done it correctly long bow lovely and you're right at the point if you've done it well So that is very important to be thinking where on the bow am I playing this and your bowing is very structured in this way which gives you a nice sound. Now once you've practiced that a few more times on your own we can play it perhaps a slight little bit faster. So here we go, I'm counting a sing for four. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel.